Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve percent word problems using the percent equation, which is the percent times the whole equals the part. We can use this equation to help us with percent problems, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. We will go through five examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have, Jackson starts saving 5% of his paychecks for a vacation. Each paycheck is $1,250. How much is he saving each paycheck? Let's come to the side here and work through this. So for our equation, we have P for the percent times W for the whole equals A for the part. Now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. Well, Jackson starts saving 5% of his paychecks for a vacation. So our percent is 5%. And when we plug in the percent to the equation, we're going to use the decimal form. That makes the percent easier to work with within the equation. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And we can quickly divide by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number. So for 5%, the decimal goes right here. And we move it once, twice to the left. And we need to fill this gap, this place, with a zero. So we get 0 0.05, five hundredths. So let's plug that in. Times the whole equals the part. So now we need to identify the whole and the part. Well, each paycheck is $1,250. So is that the whole or the part? Well, we're looking for how much he's saving each paycheck. So this is going to be the whole paycheck, and we're looking for the part of the paycheck he is saving. So we're given what his whole, his total paycheck is, and then we're figuring out the part of the paycheck he is saving. So the whole is 1,250, and then the part is unknown. That's what we're figuring out. So we keep our variable of A. So with this equation, we're finding 5% of 1,250 equals what? Now we solve, and we just have a one-step equation here. We need to isolate the variable of A, which it's already isolated on the right side of the equation. So all we need to do is multiply here. We have 5 hundredths times 1,250. That gives us 62 and 5 tenths, 62.5. And that's the part. Now let's go back to the original question here. How much is he saving each paycheck? Now this is not $62.05. Remember, when we write out money that involves cents, we write it to the hundredths place. So this is $62.50. So $62.50. So that's how much he saves each paycheck. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, we have Michael earned an 85% on his chemistry test. He got 68 questions correct. How many questions were on the test? Let's come to the side and work through this. Our equation, P4% times W for the whole equals A for the part. And now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. We have 85%. So let's plug that in. And we're actually going to plug in the decimal form. That makes the percent easier to work with within the equation. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And we can quickly do that by moving the decimal 
twice to the left. Now the decimal comes after a whole number. So for 85%, the decimal goes right here and we need to move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.85, 85 hundredths. So let's plug that in for our percent times the whole equals the part. So we need to figure out the whole and the part. Well, we have 68 questions correct. So we need to figure out if that's the part or the whole. Well, Michael got 68 questions correct. That's the part of the test he got correct. What we don't know is the whole amount, the total amount of questions that were on the test. So the whole is unknown and we know the part, which again, that's 68. So we keep the variable of W since the whole is unknown equals the part, which that is 68. And now we have a one step equation that we can solve to figure out the whole amount. Basically with this equation, we're finding 85% of what equals 68. So we need to isolate that variable of W. W is being multiplied by 85 hundredths. So we need the inverse operation, the opposite operation. That's division. So divide the left side of the equation by 85 hundredths. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 85 hundredths as well. Now on the left, these cancel each other out. W is now isolated. On the right, we have 68 divided by 85 hundredths. That gives us 80. So W, the whole, equals 80. Now going back to the original question, how many questions were on the test? Well, 80 questions. Let's move on to number three. For number three, we have a high school has the following number of students in each class. What percent of the high school students are seniors? Round to the nearest percent. And we can see the breakdown of students per class below there. Let's start by writing out our equation. And now we need to plug in. Let's start with the percent. Well, we have what percent of high school students are seniors. So that tells us that the percent is unknown. That's what we're looking for. So we keep our variable of P. So the percent times the whole equals the part. So now we need to figure out W and A, the whole and the part. Well, the whole is going to be the total amount of high school students. And then the part is going to be the seniors. As far as the whole, how do we figure out the total amount of high school students? Well, we need to add up the freshman class, sophomore class, junior class, and senior class. And that will give us the total. So we need to do 188 plus 172 plus 193 plus 167. That gives us 720 students. That's our whole, the total amount of students. So we plug that in for W. Equals the part, which the part is the amount of seniors. That's 167. So let's plug that in. Now we need to solve. We have a one step equation here. So let's isolate that variable of P. P is being multiplied by 720. So we need the inverse operation, division. So let's divide the left side of the equation by 720. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 720 as well. Now the 720s on the left cancel each other out. So P is now isolated equals, and then on the right, we have 167 divided by 720. That gives us 0 
one, nine, and that decimal continues on. It actually ends up repeating. So we're going to stop there and then end up rounding to the nearest percent. So what we need to do now is take that decimal and convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And remember, a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice to the right. That gives us 23.19. And again, that decimal continues on percent. So let's round that to the nearest percent. So to the ones place, we have a three in the ones place with a one to the right in the tenths. So this rounds to 23%. This is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we rounded, 23%. So looking at the original question, what percent of the high school students are seniors? Well, approximately 23%. Let's move on to number four. For number four, we have Ava spent $90 at the grocery store. This was 15% of her paycheck. How much was Ava's paycheck? Let's come to the side here and work through this. Now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. Well, 15% is our percent here. And when we plug in the percent, we're going to use the decimal form. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. The decimal goes right here, and we move it once, twice, to the left, so we get 0 0.15, 15 hundredths. So let's plug that in for percent times the whole equals the part. So we need to figure out the whole and the part now. Well, we have $90 here. Is that the whole or the part? Well, Ava spent $90 at the grocery store. This was 15% of her paycheck. $90 is part of Ava's whole paycheck. So that tells us the part is $90. But we do not know the amount of her whole paycheck. So the whole amount is unknown. So we can do 15 hundredths times the whole amount, which is unknown. So we leave our variable of W equals the part which is 90. Basically, with this equation right here, we're finding 15% of what number equals 90. Now we solve, and we just have a one-step equation here. We need to isolate the variable of w. w is being multiplied by 15 hundredths, so we need the inverse operation, the opposite operation, division, in order to isolate w. So let's divide the left side of the equation by 15 hundredths. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 15 hundredths as well. Now on the left, these cancel each other out. W is now isolated. So we have W equals, and then on the right, we have 90 divided by 15 hundredths. That gives us 6 so the whole equals 600. Now going back to the original question, how much was Ava's paycheck? Well, Ava's paycheck was $600. Lastly, let's move on to number five. Taking a look at number five, we have Lucy spent four and a half hours on yard work today. What percent of her day was spent doing yard work? Let's set up our equation here and plug in, starting with the percent. Well, we have what percent of her day was spent doing yard work. So that's our unknown here. Let's keep the variable of P times the whole equals the part. So we need to figure out the whole and the part now. 
Well, the whole is going to be the whole day. And how many hours do we have in a day? Well, 24. That's our whole. Again, the whole day. So let's plug in 24 for the whole equals the part. So what part of the day was spent on yard work? Well, 4.5 hours, four and a half hours. So we plug that in for the part. And now we have our equation. So what percent of the whole day, 24 hours, is four and a half hours? So let's solve. We need to isolate the variable of P. It's being multiplied by 24, so we need the inverse operation, division. So divide the left side by 24. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 24 as well. Now the 24s on the left cancel each other out. P is now isolated. So P equals, and then on the right, 4.5, four and a half divided by 24 gives us 0 0.187. So 1,875 ten thousandths. And that's our answer, but it's in decimal form. So let's convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. So let's move the decimal once, twice to the right. That gives us 18.75. So our percent equals 18.75. 75%. So looking back at the original question, what percent of her day was spent doing yard work? Well, 18.75%. And this is the exact answer. Now another option, if we don't want a decimal, we just want a whole percent, we can round to the nearest whole percent which is the ones place. So let's round to the ones place here. We have an eight with a seven to the right in the tenths. So this rounds to 19%. So this is approximately 19%. So the exact answer here. And then we also rounded to the nearest percent. So there you have it. There's how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.